Hey everyone, and welcome back for part two of my not so very speed run. I really do hope you've been enjoying it so far, and if you have, please be sure to give this video some love, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see where this all kind of goes. The last time we both started and finished with the mint generation. Now we are on to our second generation with our sim Ruby. So before we get too far into this, let's go over the rules for the Rose Generation. So for Rose Gen, the description says you had everything you desired as a child, but you were always longing for more. As an adult, you have a hard time committing to relationships as you're so focused on your career. If we had a workaholic trait in The Sims 4, you would have it. You have absolutely no maternal instincts whatsoever, but you still love your child with all your heart. Well, the good news is workaholic is, uh, it is now a, a trait or a lifestyle, so there we go. But the traits for this generation are hot-headed, snob, and romantic. The aspiration eventually will be the serial romantic aspiration, and girl, I see what you're doing. You're going to the bush. Just, just get it over with. Just get it over with. But anyway, the aspiration will be serial romantic and the career will be politician. And then the rules for the generation are that we have to have only one child. We have to master the politician career. We have to complete the serial romantic aspiration. We have to master charisma. We have to leave someone at the altar. And we have to get married for the first time as an elder. So we're gonna we're gonna be doing a lot today. But the first episode was definitely it had a bit of a learning curve that I had to overcome. But I have some ideas that I think can help us out, not only for this generation, but in the future generations that we have to go through. And a big part of this is actually going to be the reward traits. And these are things that you can get just as you complete the whims and your aspiration milestones. The first one I want to try to get will be connections, because with this one, you actually start all careers at a higher level. So if I get this one first before we get our job and then we move on and get entrepreneurial, it would mean that we can kind of start a few steps ahead and ultimately progress faster. That means there's going to be a big focus on wants and there's going to be a big focus on trying to complete the aspiration milestone. So we have about two days left before we age up. So fingers crossed we're able to kind of get as far as we can. We're just doing a little bit of, uh, of preparation for Ruby's future. Caleb has a very important job of looking out not only for his daughter, but kind of for all future generations. So I actually really like how this all kind of worked out in the end. It looks like we have to get some garlic, wolfsbane, plasma fruit. And of course, this is where I would put my plasma trees if I had any. Oh, oh no. What did I just... Uh, I went the entire first gen without an alien abduction. We start second gen and there we go. Our girl is off. Well, we'll see what comes of that. So we're going to try to make some friends because I really do want Ruby to have a lot of friends around her age. Today, the principal is visiting Ruby's class. Everyone is to be on their best behavior and not interrupt the lesson. Unfortunately, the kid sitting behind her has decided to pelt her with something. Should she ignore it or ask the kid to stop? You know what? She's a little hothead. She's going to ask him to stop and probably face some consequences. For once, someone else gets in trouble and Ruby gets off scot-free. You know what? Good for her. That's a happy ending if I've ever seen one. We'll do our homework, we'll do some drawing, and hopefully get some good level ups in creativity. Nice. All right. One down and just a couple more things to go. And it looks like we've made about four friends so far. So this is gonna, this is gonna be our little crew, our little gang. I'm not gonna zoom in too far because the sound is literally atrocious. 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 I can't words. But I love how cute this looks because it, it's like Caleb is dancing to his daughter's violin even though it's the music that's going on. But I just love what a supportive dad Caleb seems to be like. And oh, looks like we got level 10 creativity. So we should hopefully start gaining actual skills. It's Friday night, so we are staying up late to try to get as many of these little whims taken care of as possible. In winter, I'm tired of you being a workaholic. You've done your time, so let's have you get rid of this pesky little lifestyle. Free yourself, lifestyle loss. You'll have to work hard if you want it back. Then again, maybe it's time to try something new. Getting some final skills up before her birthday. Ah, oh, there she goes. And then, of course, we have to go all the way outside. Our usual age up spot. All right, so here is where we choose serial romantic. And we'll give her romantic for now. 
I think she's not going to become a snob until she's a young adult. Okay, here's our little teenage Ruby. I love that she got some of her mom's freckles and her beauty mark, but I think she's honestly adorable. I'm excited for her long hair, and she has a couple different outfits. I wanted to keep her looking pretty young, especially right now, and she'll have time to grow up later. All right, we had our little friends age up as well. Gotta say, Caroline is major cutie, so probably gonna have to pursue that soon. But we are getting a head start on our charisma. You know what? This is the perfect opportunity. But all right, loving parents, would you please permit me to maybe go to this festival with my little friend here? Please and thank you. We'll, we'll make believe that it's just like a few blocks down or something. And Caleb's just like, she can handle herself. She's a creature of the night. She's got this. And we gotta be sure to ask about our romantic destiny with the love guru here. Uh-oh, she doesn't look too happy about it. Though temptation abounds, you must await many moons for your destined love. Love Guru, you you may know what's up, because we're not allowed to get married until we're an elder, so she is definitely not wrong. Looks like we made a new friend at the festival, so we're getting a... Uh getting some cute little selfies together. We're also getting some with our friend Caroline. Oh my gosh, he looks so sad down there. That's so sad. But man, she is so cute. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Yes. Amazing. I love all of them. Oh, that sin is irresistible. Ruby has a major crush on Caroline. That makes it easy. Let's go ahead and take care of this first little aspiration milestone. Ooh. Cute. Oh, and there she goes. Okay, bye. Well, first romantic attempt, I'd say successful. We'll try to get her to uh, be our girlfriend tomorrow. Gotta get in the habit of jogging to clear our mind because that hot-headed trait is no joke. We also have the strange thirst that is gonna start hitting us soon, so... oh, I'm witnessing some adorableness. Oh, and there go our plasma trees again. Oh, okay, well... Ruby's asking Caleb for some advice, anger management. Sometimes I just get so angry that I don't know what to do with myself. How can I deal with things when I can't even? He's going to tell her to talk it through with someone. Caleb is also going to give her a little gift of some plasma packs. Tell her she's the vampire now. This is what she got going for you. And then just to do a little freshening up, we're going to add romantic aura and teen neighborhood. All right, we got a bit of a teenage bedroom makeover as well. I feel like with Ruby being a creative child, she'd have some art and stuff all over her room, but I think it's good to do a, a good little refresh. You know, this vampire thing may actually work to our advantage for a little while. We'll take on detect personality and see how far we can get with that. We'll start to learn about vampires online and see how much we can, you know, get to know about our, our vampire heritage. Really, we just want to start charming people. We'll request a little bit of training from Caleb as well, see if he can teach us what it means to be a, a good vampire. So proud of our girl. Look at her. She has her first little crush and everything. Oh, heck yes. She agreed to be our girlfriend, so now we just have to go on a couple of dates. And honestly, why wait? All right, time to speed run this date. Can't be outside for very long, so we are at a karaoke lounge here. Okay. <laughs> god i just found out there's apparently a bug with vampires dating in the daytime what? so that's awesome for us oh my gosh that is so creepy i love that attention to detail sim but it's it's kind of uncomfortable when you just see this anyway we will try again after 9 p.m oh wait okay she is pregnant that is gonna be rough here in a minute, because I, I don't know where I would put another human person. So um, we may not have the tiny home boost for much longer. God, we got our reaction to first snow. That means we've officially been in this save for a full sim year. You know what? Yes, we will join for our first day of school. I'm thinking maybe we'll do Monday and Friday. 
I want to do at least one day of school for for each of the generations, but definitely not every single day. Otherwise, um, this isn't going to be much of a speed run. But I believe the experience is important. All right, I've downloaded a slightly smaller school just so we don't have to be running around all over the place. But we are going to be running inside so that we don't burn to a crisp. We'll get a nice cheerful introduction to the principal here. Oh, please don't be going outside, girl. No. <laughs> What? What? Welcome to Copperdale High. Hope you get settled in. There are exams every Friday. You can find your way to a computer to study for your exams or even just pull out your notes and prep that way. Wait, Ava is still the cafeteria worker? So is the science lab her like side hustle or something? Or maybe it's one of those situations of not in this economy. Oh my gosh, this is so sad. She's eating her little plasma pack while the rest of the students are off taking their lunch. We were gonna practice our, our speech, but all right, let's become best friends with our girlfriend who apparently is not a student at the school. She probably came all the way from her own school just to see us. And we're just here talking to ourselves in the mirror. Oh, we've completed over a hundred whims. We're actually doing really good so far for the satisfaction point, so I think we'll be able to get at least one of the reward traits before we before we age up and get into our actual career. End of day report, Ruby impressed her teachers and learned a lot today. You know, I am proud of her. Honestly, gotta say, combination of tiny home with happy mood boosts and a little radio does it does wonders for the whims. Every other whim is just to listen to music that they like. Ah, oh, heck yes. All right. Can we get our... Yes, we got our vampiric charm. But oh no, we got to take a weakness. Oh, it's our first invitation to sneak out. We've accepted the invite. Now we need to find a way to get there. To be fair, her parents are both going to be out at work, so uh, they'll, they'll be none the wiser. I'm honestly disappointed. I never thought of this sooner. Let's get some fear be gones. And you know what? With her being a mad scientist and also, you know, in a relationship with a vampire, potion to youth, it, it kind of works. And the fact that she's now pregnant with another child and has about four days until she becomes an elder, she, she deserves it. She's earned this. Looks like Ruby's back and we had some good times from loitering. All right, hit charisma level five. We can now start social media network on a computer. We can also practice storytelling at a mirror and perform flirty introductions on other sims. I can't imagine anything more perfect for us. I also love the fact that we don't even need to sleep or use our bed. We can just meditate and that gives us more time to be a crazy unruly teenager. Ooh, this child is making me nervous. She's having a mood swing while burning alive. All right, it's nine o'clock on a Tuesday. We are gonna try to do this, this whole date thing again and hopefully not have it glitch out. So far, so good because we're actually getting things checked off here, which it wasn't letting me do before. So if you happen to have the same weird bug going on, just make sure you uh, make your teenage vampire date after 9 p.m., I guess. Are you for real? I told these two they could mess around per the date requirements and they decide to go all the way over to this obscure dumpster. Not even our home dumpster in the back. Not even the bush outside. Nope, just this weird dumpster here down the street. All right, date complete. We'll have to uh, do it again soon. Thanks for, thanks for stopping by. Oh my gosh, I just realized the hilariousness of this interaction with a teenage vampire. I've been having her practice speeches in front of mirrors this whole time and she can't even see herself. Sims. Oh, you're so weird. Oh, and we're in labor. Okay, place your bets now. Are we going to have another vampire baby? Let's see. It's a boy. We'll go with Rowan. That's also a red themed name. Oh, doesn't look like a... Oh, no, yep, yeah, it's, uh, it's a vampire baby. I guess that's just how this is gonna go, you know? We, uh, officially are no longer a, a tiny house. So downstairs, we have Rowan in Ruby's old room. And it's a little plain, but he'll grow into it. And then up here is where all the excitement happens. And honestly, I really, I really like how it came out. So we'll be able to enjoy that a little bit more once Ruby gets home from school. We've also gone ahead and adjusted the downstairs quite a bit. So kitchen has been rearranged. Now we have four chairs since we have four Sims 
items in this family. I've also added a small bathroom downstairs and expanded the bathroom upstairs a little bit. We're just asking our little girlfriend here for a little drink because being a teenage vampire is, uh, it's rough, you know? In winter, you have earned this. Enjoy your potion of youth. Try not to look too suspicious. There we go. Back down to regular old adult. Girlies are at work and at school, but it's time for Rowan's birthday. You know what? I just randomized it, but yeah, we'll, we'll go angelic. Oh my gosh, his eyes. He has the red vampire eyes. Ah, I love it. Look at this cute little dude. What a cutie. I love him. Oh man, it's almost Ruby's birthday. It's on Saturday. Saturday is also New Year's Eve and, and it should be the prom. Oh man, you know, I really thought we would have uh, at least until the end of this generation before we started encountering a bunch of people who are just sad about death all the time. All right, and we're gonna have date number two in order to try to get this taken care of and hopefully finish up and get to 3000 satisfaction points. I feel like Ruby's getting up to some bad behaviors messing around in dumpsters and drinking her significant other's blood. You know, just normal teenage things. Aw, Ava died. But we did complete a milestone. So, sorry, Ava. It was good knowing you. But you know what? The good news is we now have enough points to get our first reward trait, which is connections. And then the next one we'll want to get is 2,000 points. We need entrepreneurial. That is our next goal. All right, last day of school, we will join and we will see who we want to be our next target. All right, girl, it is time to become the most alluring creature that has ever walked these these high school halls. This girl's making it really hard to stay flirty when she's in such a sad mood, but boy, are, are we giving it our best shot. You know what, Craig? No one else has asked me, not even my own girlfriend. So yes, we'll happily go to prom together as friends at least at the start. Uh-huh. I mean, so far we have pretty decent romance with a lot of people. We're gonna send a chat to a few people and then head on home and kinda, kinda see where this all goes. Trying to get a jump on these have three first kisses and our poor little sad boy is uh, kinda throwing a spanner in the works. Trying to give him a little pep talk. It is increasing our empathy though. This little geeky boy has a crush and sees this as a good friend in a time of loss. He's now feeling a little flirty, so we're going to go on up and continue this conversation upstairs. But I feel like Ruby is just a extremely charismatic sim, and she's kind of, you know, learning her limits and maybe not quite uh, realizing the consequences to her actions just yet, including using her powers to learn his whole personality and then ask him for a nice, a nice drink. You know, we only have like maybe one or two days left in this house before we move out because Ruby will be a young adult. So I'm going to do a quick little thing. But before we have our prom tonight, we're going to have another celebration of love. I know game, I know it's her birthday, but it's time to celebrate these two, okay? Just let me, let me have my last day with them. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Don Lothario is the mixologist. But I mean, you know, that's, it's kind of poetic in a way. Cause that's how it all, that's how it all started. If you think about it, we insulted Don and then Caleb took over and that's how we met. It's cute and I love it and I love them. But oh no, we are kind of burning in the sun. Okay, parents, hurry up. I gotta keep an eye on my energy here so I don't die at your wedding. Do you love your parents this much? Cause I don't, I don't know if you do. Great, great wedding, everyone. Thank you for coming. And thank you, daughter, for holding out and not dying while we exchanged our vows. All right, it is time to travel to prom. Or not. Okay, you know what, Gabe? I'm going to plan my own party then. And it's going to be better than any prom you would have put on. It's going to be a birthday party. It's going to be amazing. And the principal's going to be so jealous. Forget your prom. All right, amazing, beautiful party dance time. Caleb's making us a cake. It's gonna be the best birthday ever. All right, friends, here we go. All right, and then our last trait is snob. So now we have everything that we need. And of course, overachiever that we are. Graduated with honors. Then let's age up our friends. There they all go, pop it off. Before the new year is over, we gotta set our resolutions. 
We're gonna aim to complete an aspiration milestone. And then no use dilly-dallying. We are gonna go for the politician career. With our connections trait, I am hopeful we will start a couple levels ahead. Yes, we're starting at level four. Amazing, we've cracked the code. And yeah, we'll start our assignment tonight. That's fine, that's fine. I'm gonna cross my fingers that this ends well, but we have decided to cool off our romantic relationship with Caroline. We are still best of friends, love her to death. But you know, Ruby is a girl who, she knows how to focus on things and she she's gonna become a little bit of a workaholic. She knows that about herself. And I think she realizes that maybe, maybe a relationship isn't quite what she needs right now. It definitely doesn't mean we're gonna slow our roll on things, but maybe just not uh, anything official. Ah, oh, Caleb, aspiration complete. So proud of you. Before the night is over, we want to pick a cause. And you know what? We will go for World United. Because, you know, she's a, she's a vampire and she kind of wants to make sure that the world's not gonna kind of look at her any differently. There we go. We got our last first kiss. Perfect. And you know what, friend? A uh, little, little bit of heat of the moment. You seem a little uncomfortable, so uh, no, no pressure. Let's go ahead and just cool things off, okay? Good. All right. He's good with it. We're, we're all good. We're good. Gosh, so cruel. All right. So we're on the third level now of the serial romantic aspiration. We will want to have three consecutive strong romantic relationships with three sibs all at once. So you know. Maybe, maybe actually not the best idea to have cooled off all those relationships right now, but we'll get them back. We'll get them back. We'll also want to kiss 10 Sims. There is one other game mechanic that can help us out here. And I really could have done this earlier, but we have so many influence points. Ain't no one going to beat us on this one. And this should help us a little bit. All right. I had taken a little uh, snack break and then forgot to hit record when I came back. So we are dressing up Rowan, but he had a high motor skill. So we ended up giving him the rambunctious scamp aspiration. And then we randomized and he got green fiend. And I think this is hilarious. So he gets that. So there he is, adorable. And then I also gave Ruby a slight adult makeover. We have a couple different outfits and I feel like she's trying to look maybe a little older for her age. You know, she's putting on a bit of a show, trying to impress the people that she's working with since she did kind of just skip ahead a little bit in that career, so. We still have a day before we are expected to go to our new job. So, so we're gonna work a little bit more on our skills. Honestly, we're doing Pretty dang good with charisma, and that's the only one this generation that we really have to max out. So I think that's gonna be our main focus, just so that we have one less thing to kind of worry about while we're trying to get through the rest of our career. Awesome, level eight. You know, Caleb through all of this is thinking back to the wedding and just realizing how much time has flown by. I mean, his daughter is literally a young adult now and he's essentially been like training her in her vampire powers this entire time but just something about it hasn't quite felt like that was the lifestyle for her in doing his own research i feel like he's really been training for this the whole time because he has found the ultimate vampire cure so he is giving this to ruby so that she now has a choice and honestly, I feel like she has wanted to spend her time out in the sun. She's essentially spent her whole life inside a storage container, you know, and even at her parents' wedding, she couldn't even stay outside the entire time. So Ruby has called her family down and uh, we're going to make this a moment as we drink this vampire cure. We now get to, uh, for the first time in our lives, feel normal human stuff, which is a little weird probably gonna not end super well. But you know, at least now we can go on dates in the daytime. That's really what matters in the end, right? So we are gonna do some, basically gonna do some speed dating, I think. And ah, oh, would you look at that? We're outside and it's before 6 p.m. There we go, kiss hands, let's get on this. I feel like I'm gonna do a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a time jump, see how many uh, hand kisses we can get here while trying to improve our romantic relationships.
All right, so our night of romance was successful. We have created and maintained three high-level romantic relationships at the same time. We'll go to work today. But I think tonight we will finish up on the kissing of the Sims. Hopefully we will get our first job promotion. And then we can move into our new house. Manage the intern. Ruby has been assigned an intern to train and manage. How should she handle her intern? Well, we are really brand new to this job. We're going to try to prove ourselves. We're just going to send her on coffee duty. With the intern on coffee duty, Ruby is able to focus on her most challenging tasks, full of caffeine and with well-rested feet. It's banner day as a manager. Performance gains small. Awesome. Well, two things happened at once. Rowan, yes, you will invite your friend and we... We're able to get our promotion, so now we get to officially go into the politician career. Heck yes! And there it is, Free Love received the most votes from the community and will take effect immediately. Alright girl, it's time to invite over some friends, because now that Free Love is going, shouldn't have any issues with anyone. This is totally healthy and non-toxic behavior. Like, it's, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's gonna ask all our friends if they're single and maybe secure their votes. All right, we were able to get pretty far tonight, so we just need two more sims, which I'm thinking we could probably do tomorrow if we can work from home. We just need to secure one more vote, hopefully maybe from one of our parents. I'm sure they will help us out. Yes, we got it. So now we gotta go downtown and we gotta try to secure some people's votes. Maybe kiss some hands. I'm here to kiss hands and secure votes and I'm all out of votes. Or I'm all out of hands, I'm honestly not sure. Ah, uh, there we go. We got enchanting introduction as an option now. Aren't you just so interested in what I have to offer? Perfect. And oh my gosh, we are doing so good on our points. I think we actually may be able to... Yes, entrepreneurial. Perfect. So that will allow us to hopefully get promoted much more quickly. Oh my gosh, I just realized slash remembered. We now have a reflection and we could see ourselves in the mirror. Ah, it's the little things, you know? All right, now let's locate our next target. Yeah, we want to take Teen Neighborhood off. Let's get Romantic Aura back on here. And honestly, we'll give them back the good schools. All right, we just became friends with Armando. Let's maybe invite him over. He could be our 10th. Oh my gosh, this last 5% feels like such a grind. But once we finish up at this level, we will invite our 10th person over. And our needs hold out that long. Oh, we are the mix master. Great job, Caleb. Mixed over a hundred drinks. I'm so proud of him. And there it is. Milestone complete. All right, so now we will want to have had eight boyfriends or girlfriends. But this stage will wait until we get to our new home. I love you, mom and dad. Thank you for giving me most of your money because you have really high paying jobs and you're going to make it back in like two days. And we're going to go somewhere that just has a complete change of scenery. Partially because I had asked my husband and he really liked the look of this world. So I will oblige. Honestly, I feel like Ruby deserves just as much sunshine as possible. So we are in Oasis Springs. And the house we are in is another one by Miss Griffey. Just with a few slight tweaks to give us a little bit more space and just give us, you know, the, the room to grow. Uninspiringly decorated from being a snob in a normal environment. Well, girl, I am sorry to say you, you're gonna have to make do for a little while. All right, I'm so proud of you, girl. Let's head off to your first day of work in your new house and your boring suit. Man, that's so unfortunate for her as a snob. Ruby has a major deadline approaching and needs to find a way to knock it out. She hide in the closet or ask for help. She's feeling a little sad, but you know what? Her parents raised her right. She's going to ask for help. She asks for assistance from a favorite co-worker. We get a medium performance gain. Amazing. Heck yes. All right, so we need to secure a few more votes. Our daily task is taken care of because I think we... Technically, we had aged up with the responsible trait, so that takes care of that. 
I wish it tells me whose boats I've secured because I feel like I've asked several people and not all of them have agreed. Like, what is it about her that just people don't don't trust? I just I don't get it. Okay, it's really looking like we want to hang out with Caroline, so we're gonna we'll 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 invite her over. Well, actually, we will. We'll ask her on a date on the uh, on the current lot. I feel like this is going to be one of those like lifelong on again off again relationships. One gold date down. Nice. And look, they're soulmates. I love that Ruby still has like this huge crush on her. I think this is it. That's that's end game for me. It's just gonna take a little while to to get to that end game. I know this is a speed run. I feel like I'm terrible at speed runs because I just get so focused on the, the characters in the story. I just love them. It's hard. Don't hate on me. Gosh, we got another intern. Honestly, coffee duty again. And once again, that allowed us to focus and we got a good performance gain. Oh my gosh, love day is tomorrow. This is going to be like our favorite holiday. No promotion, but we got some good money. And dang, voting's not going to start until tomorrow. Since we're now in a new neighborhood, we got to reactivate that, that free love. We're going to do another round of speed dates. Oh my god, dad, why are you here? And why are you sitting with the guy I'm on a date with? Ugh. And oh my god, my mom is here too. Why is this happening? Mom, I'm trying to date someone. Okay, we got one more significant other, and then we're just going to be introducing ourselves to all these people. It's night night, so I have no idea what any of these people look like, but we're going to hope for the best. Because to be fair, I don't think Ruby necessarily has a type. Basically, if they got a heartbeat, they're her type. And I say that because I think that she's done with vampires, honestly. Heck yes, another gold date complete. We also got a new boyfriend. So the longer we go without free love in our neighborhood action plan, the more risky that that one kind of gets. Ah, uh, geez. I guess that is the risk of um having so many partners. So we're back to this <gasps> request for feedback. Ruby needs to provide tough feedback to her coworker. How should she give the notes? Honestly, we're going to be straight and honest. Performance gain medium. Perfect. I feel like the only reason we didn't get promoted yesterday was because we were flirting with our coworkers. So yes, perfect. So we are now a council person and we have a kiss baby interaction. All right. How long has it been? Ruby can't help but wonder if this career is right for her. Sims, you, you, you need to stop. You need to stop it, like, right now. All right, coffee and then date. You know, she is efficient. If nothing else, she is efficient. Well, something about that date canceled out, but we're getting invited to another one, so let's go. But, oh, what? This isn't even, like, a date date. Like, I can't even get a gold medal out of this. You know what? Fine, if I can't get a gold medal, I will at least try to get a significant other. I think he said yes. Yes. Sure, the state's going well, but it could be better. And I know that was technically a date, but what about a real date? Game, I'm, I'm not vacationing. The heck? These weird game bugs are freaking wild, man. Invite me on a date, but I can't leave. It's a little sus. And he's a mean maker. Ugh. You know, that's that's not the best. It's not the best. Oh, and he's evil. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. That is a, a lot to unpack. All right. Love day was successful. We did everything we wanted to do. But I mean, the last thing we're going to do is, is ask to just be friends. Because um, honestly, mean maker evil. And oh, yeah, he's uh, he's also in a, a separate relationship. So um, probably probably for the best. Just going to nip that in the bud. All right, gold medal complete. And dang. All right, so we got some good satisfaction points too. I was between beguiling and great kisser, but I think I'm going to go for this one because it also adds to charisma. Our needs are pretty good, so we're just going to get a couple more up. And then honestly, we're going to try to get as many significant others as possible and hope we don't get caught by all the other ones. Oh, Jesus. Okay, Sibs. Oh, okay. All right. I thought they fixed this bug. So I was pretty sure it was this sweater. And I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be in the last patch. Where we're doing it. All right. We are mean perfectionist and a recycled disciple. Maybe, maybe this isn't long term, but there's something about her that intrigues us. <gasps> Mom. Okay. Thinking about trying for a baby. Should we do it? 
You know what? Go for it. Maybe we'll have another baby sibling coming along here soon. And then we can ask to be girlfriend. Heck yeah. Five down, three to go. And oh my gosh, we maxed out charisma. We can now upload viral videos and we could also call our boss to negotiate a promotion. We're a smooth talker. Ooh, the romance festival's in town. Maybe we'll head over and see if our, our romantic destiny has changed. Hey, honey, it's mom. When are you going to come visit? I put all my love and effort into raising you. You can at least drop by once in a while and tell your dear mama you love her, can't you? I'm sorry, mom. I got a romance to focus on. I, I, I can't, but it was nice talking to you. Sigh, I understand. You're a busy, successful young lady. I guess my girl grew up to be just like me. I miss you though. I'll always be there if you need me, okay? I honestly love that one because it reminds me of the Cats at the Cradle lyrics. Like I think it every single time. But oh no, we got a thumbs down. Cause, oh, I see that's the oddest destiny. Well, don't make any plans. Oh no. Okay, well, how about, how about in general? General, romantic, guidance, how we doing? To love or not to love? That, that is the question. Thank you, Guru, for your guidance. You know what? Now we're honestly just on a mission to prove the Guru wrong. We're gonna talk about the flirty vibes of the festival. And honestly, we're thinking about our fortune because we are the most romantic people. We're, we're doing a heat of the moment proposal. Like, yes, we, we are, we are so good at this. Look at us, beautiful, amazing. That is adorable. She is adorable. And I'm sorry, I'm about to do this to you, girl. It's just such a beautiful ceremony, but it was a little rushed. The timing, timing isn't right. And right behind us, we have Caroline who is looking so, so sad. And Ruby just isn't over this era of her life just yet. So a little bit of a, a bad sentiment there, but at least we're not lying to ourselves anymore. Like we, we feel bad. But we also feel like we've dodged a bullet. Because even though we value that friendship, it's just, it's not the romantic situation that I think we, we really want for ourselves. But it's obviously impacted our relationship with Caroline as well, as we could see by the fact that our, our romance is basically at zero. But you know, through all this, we gotta ask the Guru's wisdom. A lot has changed in the last couple hours, so who, who knows about our destiny? We're told a life without love is not one worth living. So with that wisdom, we are exhausted. We are romantically wrecked, but we now have a mission to hopefully find the uh, the love of our life because we still got a few boyfriends and girlfriends that we got to get through. This game is so funny. I've literally been living here for like a week and then now we're getting the welcome wagon. All right. Hey, mom. Oh, she wants to become best friends. Of course, mom. Well, we'll be best friends. I realized I'm also unfortunately at the point where I can't remember all the Sims who I previously asked to be my significant other. We may need to start looking for some new blood and not necessarily just going after all of our old friends. Okay, perfect. He is a he is a new one. So we'll just make this quick and uh, I want to say painless, but it's not going to be painless. Sorry, man. I stopped. Oh, okay. See, I just had the break up and then automatically they are kissing again. So this girl's got game, if, if nothing else. Like, sorry to uh, to string you along there, man. But uh, yeah, it's it's not meant to be. But you know what? No time to waste. We're on to our new our new goal, and that's gonna be Armando. Perfect. Also, whatever this bug is, where they're just getting random negative interactions when nothing's happening, it just it needs to stop. It's not right. It's not fair. I'm trying my best to not make enemies, even though I'm breaking all these hearts. But you know. Sims isn't making it any easier. Like, they're having a positive interaction, but I just saw like two negative marks. What is that? Nice. Seven out of eight. And then of course we get like immediate buyer's remorse. Like, hey, we're we're happy to, to be a little flirty, but just maybe not in a committed relationship kind of way. But anyway, it's new skill day. And since we already maxed out our charisma, we'll try to have a little bit of fun and maybe get our video game skill up. Heck yeah. We're gonna follow one of our whims. We're gonna ask out our crush and we're gonna do just a casual little hangout. Cook a romantic dinner of grilled cheese sandwiches. 
Because how could she say no to some grilled cheese, sim flicks, and hang? It looks like Caroline is still single. Great, so far so good. And we got another legendary date. And then even though we're exhausted, we're gonna ask Caroline to be our final girlfriend once again. And that helps us to complete our serial romantic aspiration. Because Caroline from the beginning gave us the space that we needed, that, well, that we thought we needed for our career. And she was always just kind of there in the background, even through all our shenanigans, so. All right, and we are off to work. All super official and everything. Due to a citywide strike, folks need to get back to work, but how does Ruby handle the situation? You know what? We're gonna compromise. We raised support for the cause, supporters gained two. So it looks like that ended pretty well in the end. Dang, no raise today. It got very, very close though. Our mom is here and I think she is actually pregnant. That's so cute. Oh geez, how funny. We didn't need the free love after all, but you know what? We will we will keep it in honor of our serial romantic girl. Yes, we like video games. Oh, we finally placed in one of the gaming competitions. I'm so excited for her. Uh-oh, thinking about babies. Which honestly is good because we are getting to that point in her life. Ruby has about a 30 minute free time at lunch. How should she spend it? We'll go to the gym. Oh, heck yes. Performance gain small. And we got a boost in fitness. Yay, promotion. So we are now a representative. Oh, hey, our dad is here. Let's say hey to Caleb. We just got home and we're sitting over here just very cutely thinking about our crush. Oh my gosh, we're super exhausted, but both our parents are here and our mother is super pregnant. Oh my gosh. Honestly, at this rate, we're gonna end up having a kid that's like at the same age as our new baby sibling. Our new friend gave us a, a cool little planter. Well, we're gonna talk him up and then try to get some votes because it looks like that is our next big thing before we can get promoted again. Oh, okay. Our romantic ways have caught up with us. We are officially eating for two. Today, we will work from home because we got to get some more votes. And we got to invite over our significant other and tell them the good news. So we're going to share the big news that through the magic of, of The Sims, that we're officially with child and are going to harvest her beautiful, beautiful genetics. Because look at this lady. Tell me her face is not gorgeous. And okay, for work today, we have to go to the Spice Market. We're gonna get some more votes. We're gonna protest our issues. We're gonna make some change. Getting to know some Sims. She was gonna talk with him more, then he just kind of vanished, but all right, man. Let's see who else is uh, around these parts. Let's see if we can get this girl's vote. Cause she seems to like our policies. Heck yeah, secured it. All right, so far so good. She's receptive. And we got her vote, yeah. All right, let's see if we can get two more people while we're out. She literally just introduced herself to this girl and then immediately got a sentiment with her. That's charisma. Now let's see if we could use that to, to secure her vote. Seems like we're, we're not getting as many receptive people here today. So maybe, maybe we head on home for now. We could try again tomorrow. Hey, ghost, under what conditions? Perfect. Perfect little bonus there, right as we are about to invite our sad little girlfriend to, to live with us. Aren't we just a pair? We'll take 5,000 and we will take Caroline. So let's, while we're out here, let's fix this place up a little bit. We got plenty of room to grow. So we're still a tiny home, just not the tidiest home anymore. The kitchen has had quite a bit of a revamp just to make it a little bit more open. Living room as well has been slightly reshuffled. And then over here, we have our little yellow gen nursery. And that bedroom, of course, will probably be updated in the next few minutes as our sim is bored and ages up. Next, we're going to take a nice little look at Caroline and give her a very simple little makeover. Here she is, kept a lot of her outfits the same, but I wanted to start just like incorporating a little bit of yellow. And honestly, again, I just think she is really, really cute. So 
So it looks like we do not have a career. Our skills are comedy, dancing, and logic. And then it looks like we basically know our family and then have one separate friend who happens to be evil. So that's awesome for us. Okay, I'm actually going to use this wheel to figure out kind of what we want to do with Caroline. Okay, awesome. So we're going to be an entertainer. And I got this wheel from Boss Lady TV Mods. They have a bunch of these for all kinds of different Sims need. This ultimately does work out. because Even if we don't make it all the way to the end, there is the comedian branch and we do have an interest in comedy. There we go. And that'll kind of help us keep busy a little bit. Ooh, it's Caroline's birthday today. Or well, we could maybe have a birthday party tomorrow. It's a little late today. I do feel a little bit bad though. We're gonna try to talk over our relationship fears and hopes that that will kind of settle them. Nope, maybe another day communicating. You would think that with free love and everything else going on and, and her being able to uh, not make any other Sims jealous, you think that she would be prevented from, from getting jealous as well. Man, I may need to switch out this little sweater. As cute as it honestly is, I really love this sweater, but just the weird broken body is, uh, it's a little much, it's a little much for me. All right, securing some votes before work. Gotta see if we're able to get one last vote before, before going into work. Okay, Catboy was not our savior. We're gonna try this lady. So far, she seemed receptive. Will she? Yes, perfect. Just in the nick of time. All right, so now we can go to work and hopefully that will do it for us and we can get a promotion before we go on our family leave. Help a teammate. One of Ruby's coworkers needs help with a task. We'll rally the team. Add performance gain medium. Awesome. Heck yes, promotion. So we are now promoted to an elder states person. We got some new clothes. And it looks like we can now take family leave if we want. And speaking of family, it looks like our vampire father is here. And honestly, while he's here, let's also plan a quick little birthday party for our significant other. We'll invite our family and Rohan looks like it. he aged up. So we'll invite him, give him a little makeover. And we'll honestly invite over all of our little romantic situations and make sure those are all cooled off. Alrighty, birthday cake is done. We'll have all of our little sims interact with each other. We'll maybe get a few more votes. Oh, and okay. Did the game not see that we had a birthday cake waiting and everything? Well, go ahead and make a wish, but don't age up again. Okay, I think she's going to age up again, but we'll just age her back down. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just age her back down. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Like, see, we're fine. Nothing, nothing wrong. Nothing happened. Oh, heck yes. We got, we got a vote. Well, we'll have her go take a nap and then we will give our little family a well-deserved makeover. So here everyone is. We got our mama in a more casual little outfit, our little brother. He's funny because he wants to be a world famous celebrity. He's a party animal and a green fiend. So I'm, I'm happy for him. And birthday complete. Great job, everyone. Now let us sleep. It's time for work before the weekend. Everyone have an amazing, successful day. See if we can get some promotions or at least get as close as we possibly can. Request for feedback. Ruby needs to provide tough feedback to a coworker. How should she give the notes? Straight and honest. Our girl, she, she lacks a little bit of tact, but it ended in her favor. So that's great. Performance gain, medium. We did some great work. Sadly, no promotion. Maybe over the weekend we can work on our beer and get ready to go to work ready for new challenges. But luckily we have all weekend to figure out our voter situation. Ooh, but Caroline got a promotion. Good for her. We'll, we'll serve dinner. Ooh, and we're in labor. Neat. Hey, do you want to go to the Spice Festival? Um, no, I want to go to the hospital. So we're going to go ahead and have our, our baby. Oh my gosh, time flies. I feel like just yesterday she was a baby and now she's having a baby. And also our doctor is a ghost, which is a little concerning. They really do just keep pushing off retirement age, huh? It's a girl. All right, and for her, I know exactly what name I'm going for. So our yellow gem will be Maze Berry because I love a good pun and I love a good corn. So there's our baby. And okay, um... 
I thought we were past this. I thought we were past this. Stamps, we're recovered, we're healed. Why is our baby a vampire? Oh no. Well, time to see our our child is everything that we tried to get away from. And really, it's uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. So that is now yet another one of the rules for this generation is we have to have one child. So from here, we don't want to have any more children. And we need to have a unfortunately strained relationship with our one child, which means it's probably going to be Caroline that does most of the parenting. And then also bringing over our mom and dad. Well, let's go ahead and resume that, that cooking. But we will invite our dear mother mother and father to come over and see the baby. So anyway, now that we've had a baby, can we talk about my relationship fears? Are we good? I think that's a yes. So yay, good for us. All right, well, uh, I guess we're going to bed. So Caroline, it's uh, it's all you. Maybe we can show the baby off to, to the grandparents. Let's also go ahead and give some residence keys. We'll just leave the, gra the, the grandparents to it. Ruby's just here like, okay, screaming baby, have fun with that. I'm going to, to head off in a moment here, maybe secure some more votes. So we're headed off to the city to get some more votes and leave the screaming baby behind. The description says that we have no maternal instincts whatsoever. So I take that as our focus is pretty much just purely on on work. So that's what we're doing on a Saturday morning is we out here and we're talking about our policies and we're going to go super hard. We're just going to keep promoting our policies and then ultimately try to secure that vote. I'm feeling very confident. So fingers crossed. A successful day in the city. We can now go home feeling confident and proud of our work today. And you know what? We just got home and um, and we're we're gonna go ahead and hire a a nanny. Cause I can't trust myself. Oh hey, our friend is the nanny. Hello. Or I think they were our friend. Maybe they were just a person who we were trying to get to vote for us. But I guess it's time to um, get get crack a lacking on our, our vampire skill again. Because I honestly thought we were past this, but I guess not. I actually feel kind of bad for Ruby and Maze because I feel like Ruby wants to be a good mom. But seeing that her child may be a vampire, she's starting to feel kind of distant. Not because she dislikes it, but I think she may feel ill-equipped since she gave up on her own vampire lifestyle when she became a young adult. And I mean, that could explain why Maze becomes closer with her grandparents than she is with her mom. And I think that Ruby is a loving mother, but with how she distances herself, they'll just never be as close as what they could have been. And it's actually pretty sad. And oh my goodness, I'm just checking in on the family. And it looks like our little sister was born. I've given her the name Holly because she was actually born with red hair. And that was a name that I was kind of considering. There she is, Holly Berry, which when said fast, sounds like someone else's name. Before I get too far into this, I got to start getting some nice photos of our different generations. I love them. They're so, so gorgeous. Aw, Maze became good friends with Caroline, and you know what? This baby's not staying baby any longer than it needs to, so here we go. Okay, we're gonna be an inquisitive baby, because I feel like that is fitting to the yellow generation. And let's edit her up in Create a Sim. I am literally obsessed with this baby. She is so freaking cute. I just wish the game wasn't experiencing the same face toddler bug, but I have a feeling that, I don't know, she's just gonna be really cute. I love the gray eyes and the whole color combo. I can't explain it, but it's making me irrationally angry that this does not fit perfectly. So I guess we get this configuration instead. All right. I'm in love with how cute they are. I just wish I had my reshade. I literally told her to put this child down so she can go for a jog, but instead she decides to uh, take the child on a jog with her. So I guess this is some like extra resistance training 
or something. So that's fine. That's normal. Not not concerning at all. Looking like you're running away from a park with a child. Before we get too far into the new week, we're going to visit our old stomping grounds and get these toddlers acquainted with one another somewhat. So I feel like I'm probably not going to be able to maintain family relationships for, for too long after this. All right, first things first, this child looks like a little, like a little mini me. I love how cute they are. All right, family, that was fun. Let's do it again sometime. Hopefully after I've maxed out my career. Our fear progress isn't doing too great, so we're gonna repeal free love. Maybe, maybe that'll help us out a little bit. All right, time to get all of these repeal signatures. Like, we're basically already professionals at campaigning, so this isn't too much different. You're doing great so far, sweetie. Now get some sleep. After years working as a statesman, Ruby wishes to leave their mark on the assembly. They propose a grand vision to reorganize the government, but first they must be approved by their fellow members. You know, I, I, I'm honestly not sure. We're going to go with this one because it's a funnier word. And to a good end, we gain some support for the cause. Oh, heck yeah. Promoted to national leader. Looking very, very professional. And this is so cute, but sad. Playing video games as the toddler just like watches us sadly because we won't play with her. Just, just normal, not so berry things. Oh no, I just remembered. Okay, please tell me I can cook this within the hour. Otherwise, my sim is going to be very sad it's our birthday and just in the nick of time 2 a.m rolls around which is when our sims always age up oh we're a full full-blown adult now they grow up so fast and we kind of missed our birthday so we're we're eating cake for breakfast it feels so good not to have any fears right now gosh and i'm probably jinxing myself with that two days later so guess who can't count it's me because apparently we are now 10 plus one of the politician career. So, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm doing great today. I'm doing great. So with that, I'm calling this a soft finish for the Rose generation because we have technically gotten through everything that we can get through at this moment. We had just one child. We maxed the politician career as we just saw and we completed the serial romantic aspiration, maxed our charisma skill. We left someone at the altar and now all we have to do is get married as an elder, but that is not for another two weeks in game. So that will wait for our third generation maze. And look at our cute little corn girl. I love her so much already. So if you have any thoughts or feelings about this episode, please be sure to let me know in the comments. Give this video a like, subscribe if you want to stay tuned to see how this funky little challenge plays out in the end. I will see you next time where we will start this one's journey into space. I'm sure it's, it's going to go great. We're, we're not going to get distracted. And that's it. That's the ending. I will see you all next time. Bye.